bit of visibility and you can see a safety line, you can see the initial attack line, and you can see the, in, the, the entry search and rescue crew that they're going in with certain hand tools to uh, assist. If you, if you could get a little closer, you'll see we have a forcible entry prop. It's a door made out of metal that is meant and built to be, you know, hit and, uh, and uh, forced open. So right now under smoky conditions, these guys are simulating forcible entry for the attack crews that are gonna go in and extinguish the fire. So uh, everybody has a role. Every company, every group has a role from being the safety and the backup to providing entry for the guys with the hose to providing access for the guys that are extinguishing the fire, uh, to conduct ventilation, start opening up doors, windows. You know, in this case, these guys are advancing line to the second floor. So it takes quite a bit of skill to know where they need to be and to know what they need to do to fit the hose because it's pretty heavy, you know? And you don't know how deep you're going into a building. You don't know how deep you're going into structure. So these guys have to work together. There's only two or three of them per line. That's what you find in an ordinary fire truck, two or three firefighters per line. So everybody has a job from either, you're gonna go and fire the fire, but somebody else is gonna force enter for you so that you don't waste your energy and your air on your tank on your back. You know, just there trying to force enter. Somebody else does that for you and we always have a backup in place. So uh, these guys are starting to learn the anatomy of a fire scene. You know, the duties, the, the, how you break it a lot. I mean, the, to the naked eye, hey, it's just firefighters putting water on the hot stuff, but that's not, that's not the way it works. Everybody has a specific job and everybody is expected to perform that job. And we depend on each other that if I'm told to go and ventilate all this smoke out of this building, then the other crews depend on me being proficient at my job they depend on me just like when i'm gonna go to the roof to cut that hole to ventilate i depend on the guys with the hose to put it out before that roof burns off because i'm on that roof you know but we cannot hesitate and we cannot stop from doing our job because i'm wondering if those guys are going to do their job or not we depend on each other and trust and trust so how do you gain that trust well tr 